We're here in Canterbury, England, um, visiting with the new acting dean. Um, tomorrow is your first day as the acting dean of Canterbury Cathedral, um, and it's uh, Jane Hedges, uh, the former dean of Norwich Cathedral. Um, we've been enjoying our visit very much. Thank you very much for seeing us. It's really, really lovely to see you. Yeah. Um, one of the things we talked a little bit about is um, just the role of women in the Church of England. And you've been such a leader in, in, as, as a woman in the, in the Church of England. I wonder if you could talk about some of the main issues for women, especially clergy, uh, today in, in the Church of England. Well, I think today, actually, for most people now, it, it, you, we really don't, it doesn't does make any difference if you're a man or a woman. I think people now generally accept, accept us, ex apart from those that have found it very difficult, you know, on theological grounds to accept that women could be priests. But I think, generally speaking now, it's pretty equal. And, and I think now there are, are, there are almost as many women uh, in ministry as men, and certainly in training there are. So that's all very good. I think the thing that we were talking a bit, little bit about was, uh, was encouraging women into senior roles. And once again, there's been huge strides, really, in, in the last few years in terms of we've got you know, a good number of, of women bishops, um, a, a growing number of women deans, and, and a lot of women archdeacons, and, and, you know, and women taking on uh, you know, really large churches. And so it's all very encouraging, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm encouraged just in visiting. Um, I wonder if you can talk a little bit about just the pandemic and what you learned as a person in the pandemic and what your congregation learned in Norwich. I, I mean, the pandemic, I think, was something we, none of us saw it coming, did we? And I think it was such a shock to start with that, you know, this, this thing made us kind of close, you know, close our churches. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of us really didn't like that at all, the fact that we had to close. Um, so it, to start with, it meant it, we said we had to be swift of foot and quickly get on to, you know, putting our services out online, making sure that we had little systems in place to get in touch with people, checking that people were OK um, at home and all those things. And and it was a great relief to us in Norwich when we were allowed to open again and, and simply have the cathedral open so that people could come in for private prayer. And what we found at that moment was that we had a lot of people coming in that had perhaps missed a funeral or, or, or you know, something very significant had happened for them during the time that it, we'd been closed down. And they wanted to seek out a priest and you know, have light, light a candle and say a prayer. So I think that it, it reminded us really just how important the churches are at the heart of communities. And, and actually, as time went on, I mean, again, we just had to adapt very quickly every time the rules changed. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, the second big wave coming when we all had to go, <laughs> go close down again for a bit was, a, was again a bit, it was horrid. But, you know, we came, I think the thing is that we realised how resilient we could be and we came through it. Well, did you learn anything in terms of just preaching online? Did it, did it change your presentation when you came back into real life? Not really, no. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 to be honest, actually, I was so relieved to get back into real life. I'm probably one of the people that doesn't say, oh, I really quite like things online. Yeah. I'm, I'm really, I'm a very much a people person and I like being with people. So huge relief really just to get back to physical stuff again. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I mean, every time I stand up in the pulpit, I'm just so glad there, there are people out there, yes. not just cameras everywhere. And I think actually one of the things that made us, we should never take anything for granted. And one of the fabulous things at Norwich was just getting back with the choir. And you said, actually, you know, you never take this for granted again, um, you, to ha you know, to have, to have that, that you know actually oh, happening yes. yeah. yeah the choirs was up just yeah. hear them again and have yes. them back it was yes. yeah i mean now every time i see the boys i thank them because yes. i'm so yeah. i'm so grateful yeah, to see them yeah you know, um, I, um, it, you're, there's going to be a new um, dean of Canterbury, and I, I wonder what advice you give to people who are just becoming deans. Like, what 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 advice do you have to, to share in terms of like what that role is? Yeah, I think the 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 big the the big piece of advice I'd say to people is that you you need to really um, rely very heavily on your team, and 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 recognise that you know you're working with really gifted people. And your role as the dean is to bring out the best mm -hmm. in other people and kind of be, be the glue, really. I always talk about holding the ring um, and giving other people the confidence to, you know, to really live up to their potential. So I would was, I was say that, that I'm a great sort of um, believer in, in this sort of thing called psychological safety, that you, you're kind of the anchor and it allows other people to have their freedom to, you know, to think and to be creative and and you know really kind of fly and i think that if you can do that 
you as a community will really, really thrive and grow and, you know, be a place that is really attractive to other people. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's one of the things that I'm most excited about by uh, your ministry, both in the past and going forward, too, is I, I think you're, you're, you're a wonderful mentor to future clergy, and I think they'll learn a lot from you um, going forward. And I'm so grateful that you took the time to meet with us today. That's really, really good to see you. And yes. I do, do wish you all the best as you go on your onward travels. Exactly, and explore more things. Yeah. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching. More good news.